Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our show, Media Coffee. My name is Nariman, and I have been interviewing journalists from leading media organizations globally to answer some of our clients' top questions on how to best communicate with the media. The way we, the way media operates is different in each region or country or city. Um, so our episodes will highlight these differences and give you our viewers tips on how to best communicate with the media and attract media attention in the market you're targeting. For those of you who haven't heard of Cision before, we are a leading global provider of earned media software and services uh, to public relations and marketing communications professionals. If you would like to know more about our services, please feel free to visit our website, cision.com, uh, follow us on social media, or you can simply drop us an email. In this episode, we will look at media in Egypt, and my guest today is Ahmed Baha, a journalist and senior translator at Middle East News Agency. Hi, Ahmed. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Nariman. Uh, first, uh, it's a pleasure uh, to be with you today uh, and uh, your audience and viewers. Uh, I'm Ahmed Baha. I'm a journalist and a senior translator at uh, MENA News Agency. Uh, since uh, 2010, uh, I have uh, like 12 or uh, uh, 14 years experience in the uh, uh, journalism field. Uh, and I'm also a lecturer at Faculty of Media and Mass Communication uh, at uh, 6th of October uh, University. Um, I'm also of two academic posts and uh, media of journalistic uh, translation. Uh, I also work for many uh, state-owned uh, and private Egyptian uh, newspapers uh, uh, since uh, 2009 uh, and 2010 and uh, through uh, this year, um, working in MENA, a news agency uh, since 2010 until uh, now, uh, I am uh, responsible for editing and uh, translating a piece of news and articles and uh, press release uh, uh, I'm also responsible for uh, reviewing uh, main articles and pieces of news. Um, and also we receive a press release uh, and uh, uh, we uh, distribute it or uh, translate it uh, immediate at once. Uh, uh, we are, uh, um, um, uh, MENA is the uh, most important uh, news uh, agency uh, in Egypt. Uh, and one of the most uh, important uh, news agents in Middle East and uh, Arab countries. Uh, so we have 24-7 uh, 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 distribution. Uh, we can uh, distribute the press release uh, along the day, uh, 24 hours. Uh, so, sorry, Ahmed, what do you mean you have 27 distribution? Uh, so if you can just tell us a little bit about the MENA news, MENA news agency. Yeah, uh, background of uh, MENA news agency, uh, like I said, it's one of the most important uh, news agencies in the uh, Arab region and the uh, Middle East. Uh, it founded in uh, 1956. Uh, it provides news service uh, in Arabic, uh, English, and also in uh, French. Uh, so a network of uh, reporters uh, in, uh, uh, in Egypt and around the world. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, in our newsroom, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, editors and journalists. Uh, they work uh, along the, uh, three or four shifts uh, around the day. Uh, so uh, we work uh, 24 7 uh, hours per day, uh, uh, and we can receive and distribute and uh, working uh, on the uh, on the stories, uh, or uh, if we go uh, in depth, uh, or uh, if we can uh, make a follow up a story about uh, any uh, uh, announcement or any uh, uh, press release announcement, uh, we can uh, deal with it uh, uh, after distribution. Uh, so uh, we can uh, receive the uh, press release uh, along the day, along the working hour of the day, and it's uh, 24 7. That's what uh, I mean. And uh, the languages that you're responsible for, like translation wise, is it English, Arabic, and vice versa? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, we, um, we, we, we sorry. Have two, uh, we, uh, in MENA News Agency, 
uh, we have a, a translation disk. Uh, it's mainly responsible for uh, translation uh, articles and piece of news and press release from English to Arabic. And also we have uh, another desk, uh, English desk, uh, is uh, responsible for uh, translating articles and piece of news from Arabic to English to our uh, readers and uh, subscribers. And also we have a French desk. Um, so, Ahmed, Asijan had um, a long partnership with Middle East uh, News Agency. So, can you just tell us a little bit about this partnership and when did it start? Uh, as a men and news agency, we have a lot uh, of, uh, we have a long uh, uh, partner cooperation with Asijan. Uh, 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 we receive a uh, a lot of uh, press release from uh, session uh, around the day. Uh, uh, so uh, we have uh, an editor and uh, who is responsible for uh, follow up with the, this emails and press release and follow uh, that instruction below. Uh, uh, and we are, uh, it's uh, so important to us uh, once we receive the, uh, the press release, uh, we follow that instruction. Uh, and uh, uh, if it uh, uh, immediate uh, uh, release, uh, we just uh, um, distribute it uh, immediate, immediately uh, once we uh, we receive it to our uh, subscribers and uh, uh, subscribers to men and new visions. So uh, it's a long cooperation, and we uh, we are so happy with it, and we. Uh, uh, we are so uh, uh, so glad uh, to uh, to have this uh, cooperation. And do you distribute these press releases to Egyptian media outlets only, or do you reach out to other countries out like around Egypt or in the region? Yeah, sure. Uh, Men and News Agency. It's uh, like it's, uh, like uh, I said, it's uh, one of the most important uh, news agency in the uh, Middle East region. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of uh, subscribers uh, here in Egypt, uh, all the media outlets or the uh, electronic websites or the uh, well-known uh, press papers. Uh, they are all uh, subscribers uh, to uh, Men and News Agency. And also we have a lot of uh, cooperation with the different uh, news agencies, uh, Arabic news agencies uh, in the Middle East. Uh, so. Uh, um, Depend on this uh, cooperation, they uh, receive our uh, uh, our uh, press release or the press release that uh, we distribute at our uh, wide. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it's widely widely circulated. Uh, once it uh, uh, men and you, uh, it's uh, we distribute the uh, release on uh, men and news agency a uh, while. Uh, it's widely circulated to uh, a lot of. Uh, 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 people's uh, or uh, audience in the uh, uh, Middle East countries. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about the media landscape in Egypt? So, for example, if a client that doesn't have any presence in Egypt, uh, what is the most important thing that they need to know about the media in Egypt? Yeah, sure. It's uh, the media landscape in Egypt. Uh, we can say uh, it has witnessed uh, Many uh, many change uh, changes in the last few years. Uh, uh, now, uh, television is not the main popular uh, medium uh, anymore in Egypt. Uh, we uh, we can say uh, digital media have uh, witnessed uh, remarkable uh, growth uh, in the past uh, few years. Uh, and many media uh, outlets uh, started to, uh, we can say, uh, modify the uh, traditional uh, business models uh, to gain a higher reach. Uh, uh, so uh, we can say that the media uh, landscape in Egypt uh, witnessed uh, many change in the last few uh, years. Uh, sure, we have uh, printed newspapers, uh, state-owned uh, and private, uh, we have uh, additional websites, uh, uh, news agencies, uh, radio stations, uh, uh, television, uh, 
programs. Uh, 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 the media it's uh, I think it's uh, uh, equipments uh, a lot of uh, development, uh, positive development in the last uh, few years. Yeah, and would you say that new form of media, like or new platforms, like for example yes. podcasting, do you think that's that's uh, you know an option for clients to think about when reaching out to media or when thinking about having coverage in in Egypt? Yeah, sure, sure. It's not an option. I think it's uh, uh, it's a must. Uh, you can make uh, uh, a lot of audience uh, for you. Mm -hmm. Then, just moving on to talk about press releases. So, what are your views on press releases? Obviously, as you mentioned, uh, part of our partnership is our uh, precision basic sending media news agencies press releases yes. to distribute. So, I just wanted to know um, from your experience, obviously, you've been working as a journalist for a long time. So, what do you think about press releases? Are journalists still interested in receiving them? Um, how do they deal with, with, with them? Uh... Yeah, sure. Uh, media uh, or a press release here in Egypt uh, or in any country is a world is the main source of uh, news. Uh, press release it's uh, so important uh, to the journalists. Uh, I think uh, uh, he can uh, depend on the press release as a main uh, source of information. Uh, he can uh, if uh, if it's uh, relevant. Uh, he can uh, make a follow-up story and go in depth uh, uh, of the press release. Uh, so uh, I think uh, uh, Egyptian uh, journal, uh, journalists uh, depend on the press release uh, uh, they receive uh, from uh, different institutions or uh, ministries or, uh, uh, or uh, well-known uh, companies. Uh, so I think it's uh, it's so important uh, to be a, a, a communication between uh, a PR professionals and the, uh, the journalists uh, as well. What do you think attracts journalists' attention in a press release? Uh, that's an important question uh, for me. Uh, from my uh, point of view and my experience, uh, there, there is uh, uh, main elements in the uh, in any press release. Uh, first, uh, it must be uh, relevant for me as a journalist. Uh, uh, its date, uh, it's so important. Uh, the headline, of course, it must be a uh, uh, catchy headline. Uh, and there is a uh, technical uh, writing issues that we can uh, uh, talk it uh, talk uh, in it. Uh, uh, maybe the punctuations, uh, uh, the uh, uh, the writing issues, uh, maybe uh, uh, mistakes, uh, grammar mistakes. Uh, that's all. Uh, of common mistakes in the press release um, and uh, but we can say uh, that uh, if we uh, summarize uh, this in uh, points uh, we can say uh, that the uh, headline and uh, if it uh, there is a additional uh, summary uh, sent it, uh, in the mail about the announcement uh, it will uh, so help, uh, helpful for the journalist uh, uh, to just read the uh, two sentences or the summarized about the announcement, about the press release. Uh, that uh, will be uh, so helpful to the uh, journalist. Uh, and so important also to uh, include uh, contact uh, info uh, and visual. Uh, like photos and videos. Uh, so before we talk about common mistakes that you've noticed in press releases, you yes. did me you mentioned that uh, it's important that a press release is relevant to the journalist. Can you just yes. talk a little yeah, sure. bit about that? Because it's obviously one of the you know of, of the topics that usually people discuss uh, relevancy uh, to the Egyptian market and to the journalists as well. So if you can just talk about that a little bit. 
Yeah, sure. It's uh, it's uh, must be uh, relevant to the uh, uh, Egyptian uh, media in first and Egyptian uh, audience uh, that will uh, that will uh, uh, read or uh, uh, or see this uh, press release. Uh, good journalists and media uh, outlets uh, outlets uh, receive too many emails and phone calls and press release. So it's really tough uh, for us to uh, decide which story uh, should be uh, selected. Uh, so we have to uh, to have a subject line uh, uh, that we follow uh, uh, to make the press release relevant to our uh, audience. And the uh, other press release, we, we just uh, ignore it. Uh, uh, and uh, interesting uh, subject line uh, can help uh, can help us as a journalist uh, to get attention uh, from our uh, readers uh, and um, maybe uh, the uh, PR professionals uh, uh, can uh, uh, can working uh, on it along with us also uh, uh, as we. Uh, uh, just uh, don't make a simple uh, follow-up. Take the follow-up as an opportunity uh, to uh, to build a, a relationship with the uh, PR uh, professionals. In in that regard, like in when it comes to Egypt specifically, do you think there is any characteristics or things that people need to keep in mind when they're targeting uh, the market here in Egypt? Yes. Yes. Uh... Uh, I think it depends on the uh, surveys uh, that uh, that be uh, made by uh, companies of uh, uh, that uh, make a survey about the uh, most important topics uh, the uh, the Egyptian people here or the Egyptian audience uh, is uh, focused on it. Uh, so I think it uh, must be a, uh, uh, they depend on a surveys. Uh, uh, before uh, make uh, or writing a press release, uh, that's so important point to uh, to uh, to follow. Mm -hmm. And then, from your experience, obviously as a journalist and also as a translator, what are the common mistakes that you see companies make when they're targeting Egypt or the Middle East in general or Arabic-speaking countries? Uh, yeah, sure. There is a lot of uh, mistakes. Uh, uh, but we can also say that uh, uh, the most common uh, mistake that you you should know that you uh, write this press release uh, to an uh, Arabic or Egyptian uh, uh, audience. So uh, there is uh, some words uh, or uh, we can say uh, localization for for some uh, for some expression on something like this uh, to uh, to just make it simple to uh, Arabic uh, audience uh, or the uh, the audience that will receive uh, your announcement or press release uh, uh, and also uh, we don't talk about the lens but the lens mm -hmm. of the uh, press release uh, is so important. Uh, I think uh, people now in uh, in Egypt uh, um, uh, like to uh, like the press release or the main audience in Egypt uh, like the press release to be shorty, uh, not lengthy. Uh, it's only one page uh, that will uh, the press release. If it's uh, only one page, uh, it will be uh, great. Uh, you mentioned something about localizations. Do you have example of that? What do you mean exactly? Uh, localization for some uh, expressions uh, that it's uh, in the press release. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's not uh, it's uh, complicated uh, or not uh, uh, so obvious uh, to the uh, to the audience here in Egypt. Uh, so uh, with it, uh, because the press release is translated from uh, many language, it uh, it may it may be in the uh, uh, in the first uh, by uh, said uh, in 
uh, Indian language uh, as an uh, example, and then translate it from Indian to uh, English, uh, and then translate from English to Arabic. So uh, there is a lot of expressions that may be uh, not so clear for the uh, Arabic or Egyptian uh, audience. Uh, so I need to make sure that every uh, expression uh, inserted in the press release uh, is uh, clear for the uh, target uh, audience that will uh, receive. With press releases in Arabic, uh, is it standard Arabic that you usually prefer to have the press releases in? Uh, no, uh, it's format is the informal language. Uh, formal uh, language is, uh, Form. is okay. Yes, uh, not uh, using a slang language or something. Uh, that will be uh, great. And uh, I think press release uh, uh, receivers or the one who received the press release or are focused on uh, uh, reading it, uh, I think it will be. Uh, uh, specific uh, people or the uh, the ones who are interesting uh, already in uh, this uh, subject. Mm -hmm. So um, again, you've mentioned earlier during our interview that you receive a lot of press releases per day, um, and obviously there is a lot of. Uh, PR communication and communication professionals usually tend to follow up on those press releases. So yeah, what's sure. the best way to follow up with journalists in Egypt? Um, simply uh, by email. Uh, first, by email. Uh, uh, for me, as an example, I, uh, uh, by, uh, we can communicate first by email. And then uh, your email uh, that I will receive uh, uh, sure it include the uh, contact info so uh, if I am interested uh, we can follow up by uh, the, uh, the number uh, included in the email yes um, is there any best day or time to send a press release uh, yes sure uh, for us in many news agency uh, we work uh, uh, all day of week, uh, we work uh, twenty four seven hour uh, a day. Uh, day. Uh, so uh, uh, actually, there is no uh, preferred day. Uh, we can receive uh, and distribute the uh, press release uh, around the day uh, every uh, every day. Uh, but in general sense, in other news uh, news yeah. outlets or media outlets, do you think, for example, I know on Friday, for example, there is the Friday prior. So should people avoid, for example, sending press release during that time if, or if, that day? Uh, yes, yes, I uh, uh, I know what you mean. Uh, we can, uh, in general, uh, talk about uh, the uh, holidays. So uh, uh, try to avoid uh, Egyptian holidays. Uh, that's my uh, advice to uh, PR uh, professionals. Uh, uh, just avoid the, uh, uh, the Egyptian holidays. Uh, uh, but for us, we can uh, just receive and distribute any uh, time around the day. Absolutely. Um, then, sorry, there was a question that I wanted to ask, to ask actually about following okay. up with... So you've mentioned the best thing is sending an email and then maybe follow up by a phone call. Um, but once you establish sort of a relationship with journalists or with a PR professional, um, would you say, for example, WhatsApp or other other um, apps uh, could be useful uh, or used to communicate? Yeah, sure. There is other uh, apps we can use uh, to uh, to make our uh, communication more better. Uh, uh, but I. Um, I depend in the first uh, uh, about the email. Then we can uh, talk uh, in WhatsApp here in Egypt. Uh, journalists uh, uh, use uh, WhatsApp as a way of communication. Uh, it's uh, just uh, simple and easy, uh, and uh, you can direct message the uh, journalist. Uh, that uh, that's okay, and also we can 
we can see now a lot of uh, journalists uses uh, Slack. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, it's uh, now a trendy uh, app uh, here in Egypt. So uh, we can also depend uh, on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting to know, actually. Um, yes. You're probably the first person to mention Slack as a way of communication. Yes, so, yeah, interesting. Um, then there is a lot of uh, discussion and debate about, um, is, there's a lot of discussion about fake news, for example, uh, and yes, how sure. to combat it and how to stop it. So as a news agency, obviously, I'm sure you're receiving press releases from different sources. Um, how do you verify the accuracy of press releases before publishing them? Uh, that's an uh, important uh, question. Uh, I can, uh, I have two answers. <laughs> uh, if in general and if in uh, to uh, many news uh, agency uh, to drive the accuracy of a press release uh, in many news uh, as a journalist in many news agency, uh, we don't personally uh, uh, make sure uh, or. Uh, Fact checking the information uh, within the uh, release. Uh, thus, the content must be uh, free of uh, errors uh, and uh, inaccurate uh, statement uh, before it's uh, being uh, published. Uh, so uh, we just follow the instructions and uh, publish the uh, the press release uh, that we receive. Okay. But in general, uh, journalists must uh, make uh, a quick uh, uh, a quick view of the press release, uh, and the experienced one uh, or the experienced uh, journalist uh, can uh, see uh, the errors and the uh, the mistakes that will uh, alert him to uh, to make sure that uh, this press release it's. Uh, uh, free of uh, incorrect information or fake news or uh, uh, and first he, he just know uh, he just uh, check the uh, source of the uh, press release that's so important uh, and then uh, if he uh, doubt in anything he can uh, uh, call directly the company or the uh, uh, the contact info uh, included in the press release uh, that in case if uh, if he uh, will uh, deal with this press release or this uh, announcement. Yeah, absolutely. And um, in terms of like, obviously part of combating or part of stopping um, Part of stopping fake news is um, scanning uh, these press releases. Um, so do you, as a senior translator, do you do them yourself or do you have someone uh, or do you do you have someone, people responsible for scanning the press releases and then selecting the ones that are interesting to? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. We have every chef. We have uh, one of the juniors. Uh, uh, responsible for uh, for this, uh, and um, uh, if uh, there is any doubt or uh, anything uh, is not clear for him, he uh, asks the uh, the head of the uh, chef. Uh, he can uh, tell tell him what he can uh, or what he do uh, with this press release. I think I've reached the end of my questions. Actually, um, one more question just before. Um, just going yeah, sure, away. Sure. Um, what would you say that authors of press releases should think about while writing these press releases? Like something important component that they need to keep in mind. I know we've mentioned it a little bit here and there, but like think about a recommendation or advice that you would give um, to someone writing a press release in a company to Egypt or the region in general. Yes, yeah, sure. I think uh, they should uh, think about uh, using a uh, concise, uh, clear uh, language uh, that uh, describe uh, their uh, announcement, uh, cover the uh, five W's uh, of the uh, of the news worthy event uh, in the first paragraph or the lead, 
uh, include uh, a date for the uh, release. Uh, uh, make sure to uh, specify uh, whether uh, the release is intended for uh, immediate publication. Uh, or should be uh, released uh, at uh, a later time. Uh, uh, if it uh, uh, for the uh, future uh, publication, uh, state the date, uh, and it must be uh, officially uh, distributed at time. All press release must be between uh, uh, 300 and uh, 800 uh, words uh, in length. Uh, if the press release uh, is uh, longer than a uh, single uh, one page or a single page, uh, include, include the word more uh, at the bottom uh, of every uh, page. Um, in addition uh, to the uh, release uh, subject, uh, it's, it's also an important uh, your name and every uh, on every preceding uh, page uh, or uh, your name or the logo uh, of the company uh, include the word end, end at the bottom of the final uh, page uh, the word end to make uh, uh, to make it on the final page uh, uh, make sure that uh, all dates uh, included uh, is active uh, and working. Uh, Background and context uh, info are also uh, so important to be uh, included uh, in the uh, body of the uh, release. Uh, that's that's all. Mm -hmm. Um, when you were talking, like just I thought about this question. Like, are there or is there any cultural differences between Egypt, for example, and the Gulf or? Uh, the other North African countries that uh, companies need to keep in mind uh, while writing their press releases. So, for example, do you think a press release uh, targeting Egypt could also be distributed in the Gulf and then picked up by them? Or are there like cultural differences that we need to know about? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I think that every country uh, has its uh, own culture. Uh, in Egypt, uh, there is uh, a little bit difference uh, from uh, uh, Gulf uh, countries. Uh, uh, here in Egypt, uh, some uh, sensitive uh, topics that we receive in the press release, uh, we can deal with. Uh, we can deal with it and uh, uh, publish uh, it, but we uh, put a disclaimer uh, uh, in the uh, press release. Uh, that we, uh, as a MENA uh, news agency, uh, and uh, because it, uh, MENA news agency is uh, uh, the official uh, uh, Egyptian uh, news uh, agency, so we put this uh, disclaimer uh, to our uh, subscribers or to our audience uh, that will uh, receive the uh, press release. Uh, and uh, we write in the disclaimer that uh, we uh, publish uh, this uh, uh, press release uh, even a request from uh, uh, the uh, company. Uh, but I think uh, in the uh, Gulf countries, uh, they have uh, a lot of uh, uh, red flags about the, uh, some uh, sensitive topics uh, and uh, we can uh, say it's not uh, just sensitive topics in these countries, it's uh, forbidden uh, topics to, uh, uh, to be uh, published to uh, even if uh, there is a disclaimer. I, I think so. What do you mean by sensitive topics? Like, if you can just sensitive, give one example. Yes, yes, sure. Sensitive topics like uh, 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 alcohol, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, LGBT communities and uh, uh, nudity, uh, something uh, like this. So in Egypt, for example, you can publish news about alcohol, but you need to put a disclaimer that you're publishing it on behalf of this com company, correct? Yes, yes, okay. sure. Yes, sure. It's uh, in the uh, ethics of uh, journalists. Uh, we have uh, to be uh, responsible for what we uh, publish. Uh, so uh, we make it 
clear to uh, our uh, audience uh, that we uh, publish this uh, press release upon a request or upon our uh, cooperation with this uh, company and uh, it is an uh, announcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Ahmed, yeah. thank you so much. This is this is all Same. the questions that I had. Um, any thank last you. recommendation? Any last recommendation that you would like to share with us? Uh, recommendation? Uh, any no, any last words? It. Yeah. No, uh, my last word uh, that uh, it's uh, I think it's really a good idea uh, to make uh, this uh, program or this uh, interviews. Uh, 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 the podcast uh, is just a great idea. Ahmed, thank you so much again. And um, I just want to remind our viewers, okay. if you would like to know more about Sujin, please feel free to visit our website, drop us an email or follow us on social media um, and send us any questions you may have. Uh, we will definitely be more than happy um, to explore them in future episodes. Thank you.